Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have two open brackets x plus three to the power of four equals thirty two. Now this is very simple. If you know what to do, the next step we take is already here and we are looking at it. But I need you to subscribe to my channel so that um, you can get more of my videos. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is to pick out these two from here. Now this two has no business with this power. So we can divide by two and divide by two. Two is going with um, two. Now we have x plus three to the power of four equals 32 divided by 2 will give us 16 right now the next thing that we are going to do is to break this 16 so that i'll have x plus 3 to the power of um, 4 equals 4 to the power of 2 now I have power of 2, I want to have power of 2 on the left. So I will now have x plus 3 to the power of 2, then everything to the power of 2. Remember, if I open the brackets, I will multiply the powers and it gives this. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2. Now if I expand what I have inside here, then I will be having x squared, okay, plus 2 times x times 3, that will be 6x, then plus 9, okay. So the expansion of x plus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, this right here will be raised to the power of 2, and then everything is still equal to 4 squared. Now, let's bring the two of them together. Now, we are doing this because I already had in mind to apply difference of two squares. If not, there are other ways I could have tackled this. x squared plus 6x plus 9 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 equals 0. Remember that if you have a squared minus b squared, this is a plus b into a minus b. So our a now is the whole of this. So in place of a plus b, I'll write x squared plus 6x plus 9. That is a. And our b is 4. So I'll now have plus 4. Then in the second bracket, I'm going to have x squared plus 6x plus 9, then minus 4, right? And this right here is equal to 0. Now to continue, we have x squared plus 6x plus 13. And then in this, we'll have x squared plus 6x plus 5. And then everything is equal to 0. Now, we are going to equate both of them to be equal to 0. So, I will pick this first. x squared plus 6x plus 13 equals 0. This is quadratic. Now, what is your quadratic general formula? The general formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2 times a. This is called the quadratic um, general formula. So that our x will now be, in place of minus b, write minus 6 because b is 6. Then plus or minus, we have 6 squared minus 4 times a times 
13. Because A is 1 and C is 13. Now we divide all of this by 2 times 1 and that will still give 2. So our x now equals minus 6 plus or minus. Then we have um, 6 squared is 36 minus then 4 times 1 times 13 will give 52. Then everything is over 2, right? So we'll continue from here. Okay, so our x will now be minus 6 plus or minus. We have square root of negative 16 divided by 2. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so from here now, our x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus. Now, because of this negative root, we're going to have 4i. Square root of 16 is 4, and square root of negative 1 is i. Then we divide by 2. 2 can go into this, so our x will now be minus 3. The same thing will go there. Then we have plus or minus 2i. Now, this means that x is equal to minus 3 plus 2i or or minus 3 minus 2i. So from here, we have two solutions. Now, we'll go back to one of the factors that we left out before now. Okay, so here is the factor. We have used this to get two factors. We'll go back to this, and then from here, we shall get two, I mean, to get two solutions. So from here, we'll get two additional solutions. Okay, so this is what we have as one of the factors. And when we equate to zero, we have a quadratic equation. So what is the formula, quadratic general formula? X again equals negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC. Everything is over 2 times A. So our X that we are looking for will now be minus 6 plus or minus because b is 6, x is 1, and c is 5. Then we have square root of b squared, that will be 6 squared, minus 4 times a times 5. This is because a is 1 and um, c is 5. We divide this by 2 times 1, and that will still give us 2, right? Now, our x from here is minus b plus or minus we have 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20 then we divide this by 2 so if we continue with this then our x will be equal to minus okay this b is 6 okay this is 6 because our b is um 6 right and this negative in the formula will slap here so we have negative 6 plus or minus. We have 36 minus 20, and that is 16. And then we divide by 2. Now, to continue, our x will be equal to negative 6 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is 4. Then we divide by 2. Now, 2 will go into this, and the same 2 into that. So that our x will now be... We have um, minus 3, plus or minus, we have 2. And this means that um, our x is equal to minus 3, plus 2, or minus 3, minus 2. Okay, so x from here, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. And then from here, we have minus 5. So from here, we have two more solutions. x equals um, minus 5, okay, minus 1 or 5, anyone that comes first, minus 1 or minus 5, this is what we have. And then, remember that this gave us the real solution to the problem. But the first two that we got, let's look at them. These right here are imaginary solutions. 
because of the i that we have in them so if you're looking for only the real solution then this is what you have been looking for thank you for watching to the end and if you have not subscribed please subscribe